All right, just for all of our uh, viewers that are going to, or stations, we've got about 100, 200 of them. Just name sport and give me your Olympic dream, and then we'll get going. Uh, Evan Medell, para taekwondo, the green is to win gold. How much are you driven by that gold medal dream? Uh, I mean, it, it's everything I do. It's how I sleep. It's how I eat. You know, it's how I train. It's where I live. You know, everything. Why did you get into taekwondo? Uh, I grew up, you know, Grand Haven, and at that time in Grand Haven, taekwondo was the only martial art uh, school in town. So I was, went there every day. We started biking down there, like three miles from my house. So mm -hmm. it was really easy. And, yeah. What about the sport attracted you, other than being the only, the only one? Um, on the sports side of it, it was I loved uh, the combat side of it, where it's like it's individual sport, where it's just a you. And you're out there, and you kind of got to figure it out on your own a little bit. And uh, you know, there's different ways to win. And uh, you know, sometimes you can grind them down. Sometimes you can be technical. So it's just like a, it's a very, each match is different. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, how do you prepare for opponents? You you watching tape, or do you just go in there with your game plan? Uh, so I have what I've been training, what I know I'm good at. It's like a, it's like a puzzle, but you have your piece and your piece that never really changes but you have to find different ways to fit the other opponent's piece because they have a piece that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm going to be small and fast guy. Usually I'm a heavyweight, but I'm pretty small. So I know I have these skills and I have these attributes, and then I know this guy's you know, 6'7", he's 200 pounds, so I know i gotta, <laughs> I got to find a way to fit so that it comes out in my favor. I know we just talked to, I think it was CJ a little bit ago, and he yeah. talked about a move to end somebody. Mm -hmm. is, is that... Is that kind of the goal all the time is to maybe end somebody in a ring? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, I don't want to say it's a goal, but it's a bonus for sure. Like when you <laughs> when you break someone's ribs and they can't continue, it's like, it feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's like, it's, like, it's like being up by one point or, by, or down by uh, one run in the bottom of the ninth and bases are loaded, right? So you don't need the, the four extra, but it's pretty nice to hit a grand slam. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, is there a better feeling than that? No, nah, not that I know. No, I mean, just uh, that perfect hit of, like, for me, I, I don't throw the head. We're, we're a body only, so you have to KO to the body. Mm -hmm. And then, for me, I like to do a back kick, like a, a good back kick when they're coming forward. And you're, you can feel your heel just hit right in their rib, and you just know it's broken, and you just know it's over. It's the best feeling in the world. How do you, um, you know, if you get hit by something, mm -hmm. and how, do you, how do you fight that off, uh, you know, especially if you're in pain? Yeah, it's honestly, it's just uh, you kind of condition yourself through it, through training, because, you you know, everyone everyone gets got, right, in training. Like, you mm -hmm. always get hit, and so you get used to, like, okay, it's just pain. Like, because sometimes people, they feel the pain, and they don't know how to deal with it, and it causes anxiety, it causes them to shut down. But once you go, oh, it's just pain, and you can kind of put that in a little box, you know, it's no big deal. How long does it take to get to that point where pain is just pain? Probably, like, two years of good training I would say of mm -hmm. like where, you, where it's not you don't even flinch like you can get to a point where like it takes you a second to like recover that's probably like six months I would say and then probably like two years of like you hit it and you, just, you don't even really notice it you take all that that hurt let me do something else why did you move from Grand Haven to Miami um, so you know Grand Haven is a small place so I'm kind of struggling to find good training partners mm -hmm. so that's um, and I moved to Miami because uh, the school I'm from Grand Haven is part of peak performance taekwondo and the guy who runs that is in Miami. He's probably, his name's Juan Moreno, probably mm -hmm. one of the best coaches in the U.S. for Taekwondo. So he's been kind enough to let me come there and, and train and have different bodies and different training partners. When you typically train, are you training against Paralympic no, athletes or able-bodied, fully able-bodied athletes? Fully able-bodied, 99% of the time. Does it feel better when you when you take them down? <laughs> uh, no, honestly, no. I mean, it's the same. Like, uh, I don't really view it like that. It's just like, it's who I'm fighting at the moment. So, yeah, yeah it's who I'm trying to beat. So you were in Tokyo, right? Mm -hmm. How much are you looking forward to, uh, like, a full Olympic experience? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the big reasons I came back, right? Because, like, you know, Japan did, did a good job of, like, making you feel welcome and everything, but, like, the circumstances were circumstances. Like, you couldn't go outside, you know, you couldn't explore couldn't, mm -hmm. Your family couldn't come. You know, it was dead quiet when I fought. You know, it just didn't feel like the the limp experience you you know you're looking for. So. And you, you're going to get that this yeah, time. Yeah, I'm going to get that this time. Uh, Paris have a special meaning to you? Um, yeah, my great uh, my great grandmother's French, so it's pretty nice to kind of go back and and I I've been to Paris before and I like the city and I, mm -hmm. the food and all that. Yeah, it's a 
yeah, you're, you know, Paris is a very fam famous city in Europe, and you're good to go. All right. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Just uh, 